What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I am a Canadian eBay reseller and sometimes items get purchased that end up not selling or are not profitable like we thought that they were going to be. So today I'm going to be talking about some of my worst purchases to resell on eBay. Let's get right into this. So the first thing that I want to mention is in no means is the items I'm going to be talking about or this video, me trying to tell other eBay resellers or people that are starting out things to avoid. These are things that for me I kind of got burned on, whether the shipping was way too high or I just didn't do enough research. It's all on me as why these are the worst items that I purchased to resell. The first item is a 36 Beanie Boo plush lot that I purchased for $45. This one here is ones I looked up sold comps for all of the plushies or at least a good number of them before I purchased it. And it looks like there was profit to be made. I just didn't know how much these were gonna cost to ship. And that's ultimately what ended up burning me after the first one sold and why I decided to take them all down off of eBay. The first one was a nine inch plush that sold and it sold for $8 plus $10 shipping. It stayed within Canada, but whenever I shipped it, it cost $20 to ship. After fees, that was a $5 loss on that individual item. I knew at that point there's no reason to have these listed on eBay anymore. I took them all down. I listed them on Facebook Marketplace and had zero results. I listed them on Facebook for $5 each. A couple weeks later, I listed them on Facebook for $2 each. Still no bites. I realized in my area, different lots are selling for $20 to $40, which I paid $45 for it. So it just wasn't as profitable as I thought it was going to be. They would have sold on eBay, but the shipping would have burned me. And I really doubt somebody's gonna buy a $8 plush and pay $20 shipping on top of that. So with those shipping costs, I ended up just taking them down, listed them on Facebook, didn't work out. And then I ended up just donating them and getting rid of them. So since I paid $45 and I already had a $5 loss, that's a total of $50 that I lost. And that was me the first time going outside of my elements to purchase something to resell that I knew nothing about. So now I kind of know, do a little bit more research, think of what it's going to cost to ship and see if it's something that's going to be worth it before buying it to resell on eBay. The next item is an Xbox 360 that I purchased at a thrift store for $27. This is one of the original Xbox 360s and I knew nothing about Xbox. If it was a PlayStation, I could tell you different things that were missing. And right off the bat, honestly, I should have seen a lot of red flags. First of all, it was the console only. No cords, no wires, no nothing and it was $25. When I asked about it, I said, how am I gonna test it? How am I gonna make sure it works? There's no controller, there's no wires. They said in the back, all they do is plug it into an outlet. If it turns on, it's good. My question was, how did they plug this into an outlet without the power cords? So they ended up selling it to me, the separate power cords for $2. They should have had it all included because that's the only way the console works. So in total, it was $27. When I got home, that's when I realized there was things wrong with it. There was the external hard drive missing for it. Inside, there's likely not much memory inside it to begin with, but you could purchase an external hard drive for these Xboxes, that was missing. There was a rattle inside, and I had no way to test if it worked because I had no controller. Now, I did plug it into the TV and into the outlet, turned on, and it came on the TV, but I have no way to test to see if it actually works. Now, the funny thing is this thrift store did tell me before I purchased it from the manager that they do have a return policy for electronics. So I did bring it back like they told me, but they wouldn't accept it. They said that I had to purchase $30 worth of stuff. The problem was I already scavenged the place whenever I purchased this and I picked out all of the best items. There was nothing really else that I seen that'd be worth money. So I just took it home, took the loss, and it's been sitting here ever since. I might end up donating it. It's only $27 a loss, but still that was a huge, huge bummer for me. Now I know whenever I go to thrift stores, make sure everything's there, look it up, make sure there's nothing else missing that I don't know about 
and then potentially purchase it. But most of the time anymore at thrift stores, I think I'm just gonna avoid electronics and consoles like this. Even though video games and consoles are my niche, at thrift stores, I'm just going to avoid them. And the last item that I'm gonna be talking about is the hardcover children's storybooks that I purchased. I was purchasing these at thrift stores for anywhere between a dollar to a dollar fifty, so really, really cheap. Now, whenever I started reselling back in November 2020, a lot more on eBay, I was purchasing different books. I purchased a Transformers book and a Star Wars book. Both of those sold and I received $15 profit each book, even after shipping. Now shipping in here in Canada, we don't have media mail. So shipping them cost $20 each to ship. Now, some of these other storybooks that I have that I paid a dollar to a dollar 50, they're Disney storybooks. Uh, bedtime story books and some of them were DC. There was a Batman one and different ones six in total on eBay I did list them at first really high what the soul comps were and then I realized I had to lower that and I was listing them for about $10 each plus $20 shipping, but nobody was paying $30 for any of these books. So I took them down off of eBay, listed them on Facebook for $5 each and still no bites. These were items that if I would have done a little bit more research, I would have found out prior to purchasing them that they weren't just not worth it for me to purchase them to try to resell on eBay or even Facebook Marketplace. And now I know those for the most part are things that I avoid completely. Now I tend to stick to Facebook Marketplace and other places to buy my video game lots to resell on eBay where I make a lot more profit than I did for these items. But again, this is no way me trying to say do not buy these items to resell. You might make more money, especially in your area if you're buying and selling them locally. But for me, they just were not worth it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me talking about the worst items that I purchased personally to try to resell on eBay. That's at the end of the day, I ended up just having to get rid of most of them and take the loss. So I'll see you guys in the next eBay video. Please take care. Peace.